The last two artists in this program have names that are famous throughout this country. They're better known to you as Gert and Daisy, but their real names are Elsie and Doris Waters. <laughs> Hello, Gert. How are you? All right. Yes. Here, you know I said I wanted to move into a more expensive flat. Mm -hmm. Well, I shan't have to now. Won't you? Why? The landlord's put the rent up. Oh, Isn't it good. good? Yes, <laughs> lovely. How are you getting on in your munition factory? All right. But I get a bit tired, you know, making shells six days out of seven. Good job you're not a chicken, then. They make shells every day. Here, <laughs> which, which department are you in? Oh, I don't think I ought to tell you. All right, don't bother. I know. You're in the powder section. That's right. Who told you? Well, you did just now. Of course, you know, there are two kinds of powder, Gert. The powder that women use and this powder that the men use. So don't forget, one goes off with a bang and the other goes on with a puff. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the things I come out with, don't I? <laughs> well, what's the news? Have you heard from Wally? Yes. I had a lovely letter today. Did you? Yes. What did he tell you? He told me, he said, his love for me is as deep as the ocean. Yeah, you're not going to swallow that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> And he wants us to get married when he comes home on his next leave? Well, why don't you? Well, I've a good mind to. I would. It'd serve him right. Get, ma <laughs> get married and get it over, and then Wally will be able to concentrate on the war. Yes, that's right. You know, I think you worry too much about your Wally. Yeah, I think I do, really, you know. I'm getting quite thin. Oh, Bert wouldn't like me to worry too much about him. He'd rather have ten stone of curves than eight stone of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was weighed the other day. I was weighed the other day on one of them weighing machines that tell your fortune as well. well what did it tell you? Well, with me coat, mm -hmm. I'm ten stone four, affectionate, clinging and easily led. Yes. And <laughs> without me coat, I'm nine stone eight, domineering, ambitious and self-willed to the point of obstinacy. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't really know what I am. No, of course you don't. Well, oh, no. oh, dear. I just thought of something. What? Oh, Bert had his fortune told once. And it upset him for six months afterwards. What do you mean? <laughs> had his fortune told and upset him for six months. Who was it told his fortune? Was <laughs> that the magistrate? They did. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. Hey, what are you going to send him for his birthday? Daisy, why don't you knit him in a nice sweater? Oh, never again, Gert. No? He insulted me over the last one I sent him. Oh, dear. Said he couldn't guess what it was, but he knew it wasn't socks, otherwise there'd have been two of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Daisy, did you ever finish that scarf you was making for him last winter? Do you mean the one I started in the shelter? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, I finished it. I sent it to Bert, and he shared it out amongst all the men in his platoon. What? Did they all take a turn wearing it? No, he cut it up and gave them all a scarf each. <laughs> Must have been a long one. It was. <laughs> Still, it wasn't my fault. I didn't hear the all clear go. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, and I, I never told you. He hasn't been very well lately. Oh, dear. No, I had to go to the doctor. Yes. Yeah. They x-rayed him. Mm. Mm. Must, have, must have been a strong one. Whatever was the matter with him. Well, when they looked at the photograph, they found out that his kidneys was all over the shop, mm. his stomach was full of acid, his liver had moved, mm. his watch was two minutes slow, and his boots wanted mending. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Still, he's, he's better now, thank goodness. And he's got another sergeant. A very nice man, he seems. That's good. And he's very thoughtful, too. Here, you know Bert's a bit short-sighted? Yes. Well, this sergeant says he's going to arrange for Bert to be put right in the front line. Isn't that oh, kind of yes. him? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Daisy. Does Bert still sing in his battalion concert party? Rather. At the last concert they gave, he sang Because. Because, what do you mean? La, 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 No, because the other bloke didn't turn up. Oh, no, God. <laughs> they fixed him up with a stage with a nice wire curtain in front of it. Wire curtain in front of it? What for? Well, Gert, you've heard Bert sing, you ought to know. <laughs> the trouble with him is he gets so worked up when he sings. He sort of acts his songs. What do you mean, act his song? Well, the last time he sang Asleep in the Deep, he nearly scuttled himself. Oh, dear. <laughs> Still, we've had some happy times. Well, you married Bert, Daisy, so he must be a sport. Yes, that's true. Oh, I'll never forget it. It was a runaway wedding. Oh, how romantic. Yes, he ran away, but I managed to catch him. <laughs> Even then, our wedding was postponed twice. Bert did that. Did he? Yes. The first time was because the wedding presents didn't show a profit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and the next time was because he worked it out on a calendar that our silver wedding would fall on a Saturday. Oh. And he always went to see Chelsea lose on a Saturday. Oh, I see. <laughs> Daisy, I wonder what Bert will do when he comes out of the army. Oh, I don't know. He might do one job, might do another. Mm. 
Funny how people have changed their jobs since the war, isn't it, girl? Yes, it is. Everybody seems to be doing something different. Mm, that's right. Now, take Bert's cousin, Ted. Mm. Now, before the war, he was at a sweet factory in Bournemouth making Bournemouth rock. Mm. And now he's working in an aircraft factory hoping to make Berlin rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know one thing. I bet Bert won't go back to the factory he worked in before the war. Didn't he like it? He liked it all right, but he told me that the foreman got jealous of him. The foreman got jealous of Bert? Why? Well, but what I can make out, Gert, mm. it's only the foreman what's supposed to do nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still, I like to think of him about him coming home, no matter how long it takes him. Yes. And that goes for my Wally, too. Rather. And Daisy, when it's all over, you'll bet I'll be standing on the quay waiting to see his ship come in. His ship? Yes. Well, what about Bert's ship, oh. eh? And yours and mine and everybody's. Oh, Gert, that'll be the day. <gasps> when our ship comes sailing home, sailing home, sailing home, we'll win through never doubt it. Why, there's no two ways about it. And when all, all the wrongs are righted, with our dear ones be you. When our ship comes sailing home, colours fast to the past. You'll have to hoist the thanks me hearties, blimey, won't we have some parties? When our ship comes sailing home, there's an hour that's darkest just before the dawn. After that, the sunrise and a new day born. Joy will vanish, sorrow, cares will fly away on the sweet tomorrow. All oh, that golden day when our ship comes sailing home, sailing home, sailing home, sailing home, sailing home, sailing home. We've had to pull together through some very dirty weather, but straight ahead we're steering with the harbour lights appearing. When our ship comes sailing home, the voice of peace and love, we can say thank God we've won it. When we've been and gone and done it, and our ship comes sailing, gently sailing, safely sailing. gentlemen, workers' playtime has been honoured on this occasion by the presence in this factory canteen of Her Majesty Queen Mary. <laughs> and so, with the singing of these old favourite tunes, we end our workers' playtime show. The, t the tunes chosen for today are Tipperary, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, and pack up your troubles, a good sentiment in which to end our show. The artists taking part were Claude Dampier and Billy Carlyle, Henry Wendon and Elsie and Doris Waters. George Middleton and Bruce Merrill with the two pianos. The show was presented by Leslie Bridgemont. And once again, this is Bill Gates wishing you all good luck, war workers.
favorites, Daisy Bell and Lily of Laguna. <laughs> <laughs> 